Pretty poo. Pretty poo. You want to be in the video? Here. Okay, what do you don't act like you're trying to be in the video. You don't want to leave me alone. So you might as well say hi, baby. Let's stop. up welcome back to my channel today i'm showing you guys how i tune my vocals very simple straight to the point this is really exciting for me because it's a video i've been wanting to make for a really long time and um yeah i'm just excited to be making it <laughs> it depends on the mood that i'm in but i use a couple of different things to tune my vocals and i just wanted to share that with you, with you guys and show you how it's really it's not that bad it's pretty simple to do your own vocal production and like tune your own vocals and get your own self on point like i like i always say but don't always do <laughs> i'm not gonna talk too much i'm gonna jump right into it <laughs> here we go okay so the song that i wrote in my last video is the song that i'm tuning today um so i'm gonna go ahead and tune the hook I talked about it in the last video so if you haven't seen the last video you should go watch it i don't know what you're doing with your life but you should go watch that before you come over here and try to see what this is about <laughs> you should go watch the video <laughs> and as you can see um there's already a waves tune on it so this is one of the plugins i use i'm gonna go ahead and erase it just because i'm gonna start like from scratch okay and tell you exactly what i do and in the order that I do it. So I'm just going to solo this track right here because this is all I'm working on. And um, I like to solo something melodic in the beat. You know, I just need to know what it sounds like with the melodic instrument. So I solo the piano. The next thing I do is if I've recorded a few different takes of my vocal, I go through each one and pick my favorite parts. I've gone through it here and I've decided which takes have the best part Good for you. it kind of goes in and out Man, I'm so proud of you. and i haven't done it for the rest of it and i'm not going to this, this is just an example and i just want to show you guys i basically go through and pick my favorite part of each take so i'm going to show you guys a few different ways that i tune i'm going to go ahead and show you the first way which is with the waves real-time tune this one is a lot easier. This one is a lot more like auto-tune. It gives it a lot, um, there's a lot of room to work with. Like you can have it sound as robotic as you want or as natural as you want by adjusting the note transition and the speed here. So the very first thing that I do here is I figure out what the key is. I know this key is E minor. So I'm gonna click E and then where it says scale down here, I'm gonna change that to natural minor. I know it's an E natural minor that's something that you will have to figure out not harmonic minor there's a lot of other minors there will there's a few other minors you know this is natural minor so after i do that i it. for you man i'm so proud of you you can adjust the note transition i'm gonna show you like for you and that just adjusts man i'm so proud of you see how it sounds a lot more robotic in that way the speed so that you can tell the difference between Good for you. so that you can tell the difference between the note transition you know you. what it does so man i'm so proud of you and then i'm gonna go ahead and take the speed and put it at 0 0.1 so that. For you. that just tells you how quickly the uh, tune is gonna happen like how fast it's gonna tune it <laughs> Good for you. Man, I'm so proud of you. can also take the vibrato and put it on. Good for you. You, know, you did what you wanted to. You could take it off. Good for you. For you. That's with the vibrato off. Let's listen to it. For you. Now this is with the vibrato on. For you. When you put the when you leave the vibrato on, it makes it sound a lot more realistic. The vibrato, but when you take it off, it just kind of fluctuates between the two notes, so it sounds a lot more robotic. For you. And I mean, that's what vibrato is, but it just I feel gives it a lot more room to 
vibe to um to maneuver when you leave the vibrato on it doesn't make it as sharp of a change so I play around with that I usually if I'm using the waves real-time tune I usually leave the vibrato off because if I'm using this plugin I'm probably going for more of a hard like auto-tune stereotypical auto-tune sound that real like fast tune but that's the easiest I'm so proud of you that's the easy way to tune. Another thing you could use is in Logic. They have a tuner that I've used so much. It's the pitch correction plugin in Logic. It's very similar. You can just right here, choose your key and then I'll, it's a minor. So put natural minor scale. And right here is where you can adjust how fast that tune happens. thing about this plugin as well as the other one I didn't show it let me actually pull the other one up so I can show it <laughs> the cool thing about this one is let's say there's a horrible note in there that you don't want to hit you. you can erase that note and like say oh we're not hitting that note for example let's say, let's say you. you see how I go good for you Let's say I didn't want to hit the for you. Let's say I didn't like that note, right? Let's say we thought that was ugly. And I'm like, ew, for you. I don't want to hit that note at all. <laughs> we can erase that note. That's D. For you. I'm going to erase it. And to erase it, I'm just going to click this little bar at the top so that a, another pink box with a minus sign appears above it. And when you do that, it erases every instance of that note. Let me show you. you. See? Man, I'm so proud of you. It skips it all together. You. <laughs> you can also decide that you want that note to go to a different note. For you. Let's say I wanted to wanted it to go up then I would click on it until an arrow pointing to the right shows up and then it'll go to the note in the key above it. So it goes to E this time because E is the next note that's in the key instead of that D. That's really cool, ain't it? Or you can make it go down. The regular pitch correction from Logic has an option very similar to that as well, where you can just, let's say, let's say I didn't want that D. I can do the same thing by getting rid of the D. For you. It's, it's Man, I'm so proud of you. Look. Good for you. So you can also get rid of the note, you know, but obviously I think it's a lot more clean with the waves tune. But I love this Logic plugin. Like I've been using this for years. This is an OG. I recommend it highly, but I love the waves tune real time. It's changed my life. <laughs> I love the way it sounds. I love the way it makes my voice sound. I love how versatile it is. I love how much you can do with it. My most common way of tuning vocals is this one right here. I go all the way down here and I go to Waves Tune. What I do is I go down here where it says segmentation and I take this root and change it to E because like I said, this is an E minor and change the scale to natural minor just like we did before. And I just play it. You just play it, right? Play. Good for you. Man, I'm so proud of you. Good for you. You did what you wanted to. So now, as you can see, it has analyzed my voice and determined the pitch of all of the notes and laid it out here in a way that I can drag each individual note wherever I want it to be on the entire range. 
shows you what notes are out of tune and what notes are not. It shows you what notes are not a part of the key with this little red circle with a line. That red circle with a line means that that note is not in the key. So if you're somebody that's like very like beginner, you just want to keep things simple, I'd highly recommend <laughs> that if you see that you are hitting a note and there is a red circle there and your note, your, let's say you are right here and this red circle is here, that means you are not singing in tune and that note is not in tune and you need to put it somewhere. <laughs> It does its own um, tuning. You know, it does a little tune for you when you record into it. Like as soon as I pressed play just now and it analyzed my vocal, it did a tune. It did a tune there. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and use this little plus sign right here and zoom in just so I can um, do the tune and show you guys how I do it. What I usually do, this is so cool. I'm so glad I'm doing this. Oh my God. Okay. This is how I do it. Everybody does it differently, but this is how I do it. I learned this kind of tuning with Melodyne, but I just, and I love Melodyne, but I just, I started using Waves and I just, I'm hooked. I love it. So, okay. I start off with this tool down here, this little um, freeform tool. And I usually, it brings up this little, um, these lines with the arrow when you hover over one of the boxes and the boxes represent when you hit a note. What I usually do is when it's like wobbly like this, I usually kind of drag it down and I play with it like this so that it's a little bit more fitting into its own line. You see how this is like this, like, whoa. <laughs> Let me even zoom in a little bit more. I do my best, you know, to get it to be as straight as I can get it, you know, within reason. Um, if you want it to sound a little bit more realistic, it you can keep it like that, but for this case, I kind of want it to be more in tune so I can show you guys. There's a couple of ways, like for example, this right here, obviously this is the note that it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be in this square. That's the note. It's supposed to be a G. This is a G right here. So what I could do is I could drag it and drag it until it separates on its own. Like I put it up a little bit so that the little hump at the top was basically bumping into the second note the gray bar up here the gray line up here so I just bumped it up a little bit and it separated itself uh, so what I do when I let it separate like that and then I drag it down I drag it down that's one way to do it right and that to me makes it I like to do it like that because it makes it sound a little bit more realistic like look it's not for obviously this part is not perfect but that to me makes it sound a little bit more realistic than the next thing I'm going to show you. The next thing I'm going to show you is easier. You see how it separates itself like that? I'm going to bring it back down. Just makes it a little bit more realistic to me when you allow it to do its own thing. Like even here, I'm keeping a little bit of it in this little um, G sharp, even though that's out of tune just because that's but I was really kind of like going, I wasn't doing it too perfect myself and I don't want it to sound too perfect. But um, yeah, that's how I usually do it really. I just kind of go through the whole um, vocal and I just kind of tune it like this and get it in between the box that it's supposed to fit in. Good for you. You see? Good. See, I know that's good. Like it's the same note. My, I'm not. I didn't. My vocals right now are not are not here, so don't worry about them. But I'm not. I'm not gonna do too much with this. I know it's out of tune, but I'm not gonna do too much with it because I know I'm like good for you, good for you. So I know that's like a good. I don't. It doesn't have to be perfect. Good for you. Good for you. But yeah, I just kind of try to make them as centered into their line and into their box as possible. But you also like if you want to be realistic, you have to let some space leave for like the vibrato. Like Good for you. You see that's the vibrato, that like swivelly thing here. Good for you. So to me, I do it like that so that it sounds more realistic. Eyeball it into its little box 
each little box like make sure each line gets into its box as evenly as as you can it does not have to be perfect because the more imperfect it is the more realistic it'll sound Good for you. it's in tune so now i'm going to show you another way to tune it in ways tune it's going to make it a lot more precise so i'm going to make a copy of this hook track and i'm going to make a copy of that this note here I'm instead going to use this um, you can use this and it'll create a, a line you just you see the plus sign and you drag a straight line that generates when you click on the box you drag that straight line across to the other side of the box and it'll make a line and that line indicates the pitch <laughs> all these lines indicate the pitch but that will make your pitch exact like if you get it as close to the middle as possible like I already tuned it so this is easy but like instead of it being wavery at all I'm just gonna draw the line in the middle of the box so that it is exact I'm gonna do that throughout this entire thing that one is pretty close and I'm still gonna keep this note right here because I'm I know what that is. That's a, ooh. <laughs> and we're gonna drag it even more. Drag this right here. And then even this vibrato, I'm gonna drag it like this. And drag it like that. So let's listen to what that sounds like. Good for you. Sounds a lot like the other ways too, right? But here you can do it wherever you want. So I'm gonna undo it. I'm gonna undo it. I'm gonna undo it all. Let's say I only wanted to do it. Let's say I wanted to do it right here. Right? And that's it. Let's say I wanted to do right here. Look, let's say I only wanted to do it at the beginning. Like, I'll just go back and do the rest of the beginning. Good for you. But I wanted to keep the second half more normal. Good for you. It's possible there, but it's really that simple. I uh, hope it was simple. I just didn't want to overcomplicate it. But um, let me turn off the wave tune so you can hear what it sounded like before. Good for you. Now let's hear it with the waves tune. Good for you. You see, it makes it sound perfect. <laughs> but it's really that simple. You just the main thing is knowing your key. Once you know what key you're in, the wave tune it really does most of the work for you. It tells you exactly what notes you should be singing and what notes you shouldn't be singing with these little red circles indicating the notes you shouldn't be singing and it gives you all the tools to correct your notes and to bring them back into the spaces that you should be in but yeah very simple all right y'all that's all that's it <laughs> well guys that was it i hope you enjoyed it um i enjoyed making it and I hope you like the video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Comment down below letting me know what you think. And stay tuned for the next video. But for now, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.